Here's something I wanted to do just quick. Uh, I just happened to order these dice bags a while back from uh, MDG, Metallic Dice Games. Um, and they're quite um, inexpensive. Not, not like super cheap, but cheap enough that I thought that they wouldn't be the, you know, necessarily the greatest dice bags, but like good enough to get around. Um, but then I opened one to use for myself because I needed, um, I was playing a game and I needed to separate some dice from a regular dice bag. And I was surprised at the, the feel and quality of it. Uh, so this is the one that I opened, which, uh, you know, it's got nice, interesting coloring, uh, you know, if you want to be reverse flash. <laughs> um, it's got a nice little logo on the bag there. But it's really soft, right? And it's got the double pull string, and it holds together quite nicely. And then it holds about, uh, well, three full sets as I define full sets, because uh, as you can see in here is what... Um, I have as full sets for this color. I have three different colors of dice in here that I picked up at Gen Con a long time ago and uh, they had like this whole uh, little booth where you could pick up all these different uh, colors of dice and pick them out individually and so I made sure to get extras of certain types of dice because you know different spells you know whether it's magic missile or uh, fireball or whatever right so you there's a ton of d4s in here um, there's uh, 4d6 because you know rolling your characters I don't know where the other d6 went but there there should be 4d6 it's probably buried in there somewhere yeah there it is 4d6 2d20 for you know inspiration um, advantage that kind of thing the the 2d20 the the one with the, the the zeros on it and the one without lots of d4s 2d8 because some things require 2d8 uh, just 1d12 because I don't know many things that require more than 1d12 and if you do then I don't it was situational enough that I didn't bother anyway the point is that three full sets of that fit into this little bag and it's a nice little compact bag but also like this is a different material a nice uh, like a silkier material on the inside and then a um, whatever the soft um, suede-ish kind of material. They're, they're, they're probably, you know, um, lab created versions of those types of materials, but they're, they're like that. And they're nice and soft. It's got nice contrasting colors, the drawstring, and it holds just enough. Basically, uh, you know, instead of having a giant bag like this is my normal giant bag of dice, you know, that I you know, I, I started buying a whole bunch of dice at Gary Con and got this dice bag, and I, that's where all these dice were. Except that you'd have to dig through if you want specific dice. Um, so then, like I said, you got a little die, and these are just extras for when there's other people at the table um, that maybe forgot their dice, or you need extra dice to be rolling a whole bunch of dice for something or other. Anyway, this little, you know, this little guy can almost fit in a pocket, not quite. Um, maybe a, one of the uh, side pockets on cargo pants, but you know you throw it in your knapsack and uh, you got it. So yeah, this MDG. Um, I guess the details are red. This one's red velvet. Uh, oh, so the velvet is what they're going with. Luxury gold satin lining. So velvet and satin instead of what did I say? Uh, anyway, um, bags can be dangerous to avoid danger of suffocation. Keep this bag away from being. I don't know. I don't even know if a baby's head could fit in that. So, I mean, I, I guess they could put it over their nose and mouth and just hold it there. I, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> but it's from Mag Metallic Dice Games LLC, um, and maybe your local game store has picked it up. Uh, we have it in our store, so um, I'll definitely order more of these because they're nice little bags. And I think they have a, a larger version. I have up on a peg up there. Uh, didn't come in a bag, or maybe that is from a different company. But, um, yeah, if you're looking for a little dice bag that can carry, you know, just the, not, not even just the minimum amount of dice that you need, but the, you know, you really don't need this giant Gary Con bag, right? This is, this is too many dice, right? <laughs> you're already at too many dice at this point, right? Unless you're supplying your entire table with dice, that's too many dice. This is probably actually technically the maximum amount of dice you need, personally. 
So you don't really need a bag any larger than this if, if you're just supplying yourself. And even then, like I said, there's three ma uh, like more than full sets in here. So, you know, you're covering you and two other players. Um, so it's, it's a good size. I like the... I like it. I, you know, I just had them in. I wasn't going to make a video about it, but then when I opened it, I'm like, this is really nice. And then I was thinking about it just now, and I'm like, I should probably let other people know about it. So, if uh, you're glad to hear about this and you want to look into it, let me know. And if you have them, let me know what you think of them. And if you know of any other dice bags, uh, let me know about it, because I'd probably order those in store, too, if they, if they match up to this quality. Thanks. Have a good day.